At the time, I was a big Club Monaco and Banana Republic fan. So <laughs> uh, they asked me what stores I shopped at, and that's why Kim Possible works at Club Banana. Sorry, Kim. The pants are DOA. They were brand new Club Banana! Hey guys, this is Christy Carlson Romano. I am the original voice of Kim Possible, as well as Ren from Even Stevens, co-starring Shia LaBeouf. I'm your basic average girl, and I'm here to save the world. You can't stop me because I'm impossible. <laughs> hey, Wade, what's, what's the sitch? Ron. <laughs> there was a lot of those. <laughs> I would describe Kim Possible as fierce, independent, loyal, and just a good person. I think that Kim Possible is timeless because... Well, quite frankly, she's just a very well-rounded person. <laughs> and that just never goes out of style. She's an amazing daughter, friend, great student, good citizen, I guess, because she's saving the world. Where is that override thingy? Kim Possible has been inspirational to me at times when maybe I didn't feel my best, you know, or maybe I wasn't super confident about something and then I thought back on the fact that technically I've saved the world time and time again, right? So I can do this, I can do this. So that whole mantra of I can do anything kind of got into my brain. I do not believe that guy. He won't even consider that maybe somebody else deserves some credit. Maybe somebody else is as good as him. So when I was growing up, I didn't have too many female role models on TV. It wasn't like it is now where we have, you know, quite a lot of women kicking butt. And Kim Possible came out at the right time when, you know, the Paris Hiltons are out there, you know, just running around and giving a really bad impression for young women. And so I was really proud that Kim Possible could come out and influence a, 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 a generation, essentially. Kim is very near and dear to my heart because I came into Kim at the, you know, the grassroots, the bottom level creating her kind of from just a picture that Disney had drawn and Bob, Mark, and Chris Bailey, who was our initial director, kind of were crafting her voice. And because I was age appropriate to play Kim Possible, they asked me things like, hey, what would you say, you know, to just say what's up to somebody? And I was like, I don't know, like, what's this itch? So I actually was a part of creating certain things that Kim said. And I think they even tried to make her brunette, but. It, it didn't work out. She's way better as a redhead. <laughs> and some of you might also know me as Ren Stevens from Even Stevens with Shia LaBeouf. Ren was, you know, known as Little Miss Perfect. She was type A. <laughs> and she had it all together all, all times. What was fun about portraying Ren Stevens was the amount of comedy that came from trying to portray a teenage girl as being perfect when we all know that that couldn't be farther from the truth. Oh, great, fine, you know? Super, tip top, never been better. Do you really think I'm gonna let a boy ruin my summer? <laughs> and when Ren had an issue and the girls were watching it, they felt like they could completely relate to her because the struggle was real to try to, you know, be a high school girl and have it all together and make all the marks and make your family happy and get into college. And meanwhile, you're just, you know, just trying to like feel like you're normal and fitting in and all that stuff. And I, and I really do think that Ren was the voice of that, or the face of that rather, and um, that was fun. I could definitely relate to Ren in a lot of her struggles. I think that the Stevens family from Even Stevens showed off a, a really great family because with Disney, you know, they have a lot of nuclear families and now, currently, there's a lot of different types of families that are now being portrayed but we were the first Jewish family ever portrayed on Disney Channel. We had a Hanukkah episode, we didn't have a Christmas episode, but Ren's mom played by Donna Pascal, legendary actress. Uh, she was actually more successful than the dad. She was a governor and then she ended up running for Senate and that's how we closed out the show. So we kind of had the mom wear the pants. It was very matriarchal. And I, I love that because Ren had a really great role model in her life. When I get my hands on you, do you get I also think that the relationship between uh, Louis Stevens and Wren is, I guess it's pretty 
iconic in that way where everybody could relate if they had a little brother, a little nephew, a cousin that would come over to their house and just ruin their lives and, and you know, just, oh gosh, he was just a mess. And, <laughs> and the struggle was real. I mean, there, that chemistry that Shia and I had, it was definitely coming from a place of being completely different people. Oh, what do I remember about working with Shia? A lot of laughter, a lot of laughter. Sometimes I was the butt of the joke, even though we were super young. We were together for very specific, important years of our adolescence. So we definitely bonded and I put a fart machine underneath his chair when he was in a really serious scene and he and his father retaliated by TPing my dressing room with toilet paper and uh, I was kind of devastated. <laughs> I can't. I can't play, I can't play. If you dish it, you gotta be able to take it, and I couldn't take it. So you were having a pleasurable time on her island? Yes, completely. Well, the Even Stevens movie was shot in Hawaii, and I remember everyone kind of just let their hair down, because <laughs> we were all gonna split. It was like summer camp for a people that have worked together for three years, and everyone was just celebrating by being able to film our show, basically, in Hawaii. And I remember <laughs> I let loose a little bit, which was different for me because I was very type A and, you know, like I said, I was pretty sheltered. And I was 18 and I was really excited. I was about to go to college and I ended up with a couple people from the cast who will remain nameless, um, going and judging a Hawaiian tropic contest at a uh, <laughs> local nightclub, <laughs> which I don't even know how we got in, but um, yeah, I judged a Hawaiian tropic contest while filming Even Stevens. <laughs> Honestly, the reason why people love Even Stevens to this day is because the comedy was written so well. It was really smart, really funny. Our writers never chinsed on the jokes. They never jumped shark. Our show from front to back was a really, really quality show. And you could have put Even Stevens on any network and I think it would have done really, really well. Kim Possible, Ren Stevens, I got really lucky to play some really cool ladies.